Hey Leviathus, guess how much this pie sword does? 3.14! <laughs> What is up guys, it's Gabe or Swordface and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. So today we'll be reviewing quite a short mod, but I can tell you it's really well built. So the name of the mod is called the Boss Tools mod. So mod is at very extreme alpha or beta right now and what are you doing Leviathan? Are you jumping? So anyway, what this mod provides you is with swords at the moment, they contain about seven swords. But there will be tools in the future, just hang tight there, because it's just literally a very, very, very new mod released a week ago, I believe, or two weeks ago. So, to kick off the mod, we'll start first with my favorite sword. So, my favorite sword was the Pi Sword, and in the, in the beginning of the video, I said that this did 3.14 damage. Now, I'm not lying, it literally does 3.14 damage. Like, it does worse than a wood sword and worse than a stone sword, it's like one of the weakest swords in the mod, but bear with me here, uh, it still can kill a creeper, your favorite little creeper is still gonna die into like, oh my god, it's peaceful, I forgot, hold on, I'll just test the pigs, okay, oh my freaking god, there you go, so, oh my god, what this does, is that when you put a pig in, keep that there, it dies to, I believe, three hits, there you go, so, deeming a total of a pig having 67 hearts, so, yeah, not important, how you craft it, though, is that, um, you craft it with a stick and two pie, pretty simple, not that useful, but really punny, if you know what I mean, so, moving on, next sword is the evil diamond sword, so, what the evil diamond sword does, it has 15.5 attack damage, and it is crafted with evil diamonds. So evil diamonds look exactly like normal diamonds, like this. So how that works is that it's really, really, really rare, more rare than emerald in your world. And when you mine it, or just pretend to mine it, you get an evil diamond. So with that, you craft the evil diamond sword just like this. And it gives you an evil diamond sword with 15.5 attack damage. I don't know about these swords, they contain random numbers, but you know what, it's, it's all part of making a lot. So here we have Mr. Old Pig dies to one hit, not surprised. So that is the evil diamond sword, we'll leave that to you. Next we have the flame sword. So wow, you are having quite a good time there. So, we have the Flame Sword. Now, what the Flame Sword does is has 77.7 attack damage because sevens were just not enough. They have to add more sevens. So, of course, it sets mobs afire. And, no, apparently it doesn't. Nope, never mind. Forget what I heard. That was trash talk. It just kills mobs. It's a really cool sword, though. I think Nether Sword is the one that sets people on fire or things on fire. So, got more raw pork chop bacon. Who cares? So, how you craft the flame sword is, uh, one blaze rod, two magma cream, I wouldn't really bother. So, actually, yeah, I would, because it does 77 point attack damage, which is really high. So, putting it back there, now we have the nether sword. So, what the nether sword does is, I think, this one. This is the one that sets mobs of fire, because a little tiny flame icon. I think it just dying too quickly. I almost bought an iron golem in. How about that? That's a lot better to test their swords on, too. Let's see, pumpkin hit. But I think we'll die in one hit. There you go. That's better. So will you die in one hit? Oh, it dies in three hits. So, yes, it, it's an early beta, beta, so, you know, you couldn't really um, set fire or anything. But, you know, it's a work in progress. Just, there you go. Next, we have the Wither Sword, which uh, I believe does 50 attack damage, and how you craft it is with, I believe, Soul Center Wither. I would not bother crafting this sword whatsoever. Look, look at the crafting recipe. It's ridiculous. Blaze Rod, two Nether Stars, but, you know, maybe you would. Maybe, maybe you want to make this sword just for collection purposes, but it's weaker than that little Blaze Sword, which is much easier to get. 
So I wouldn't see why you'd bother crafting this anyway. So next we have the Elder Guardian Sword, which is crafted with uh, Blaze Rod and Sponge. But now Sword, you're like, oh no, Sword, Sponge is not craftable. But don't worry, this mod makes it craftable. So Sponge, um, you make Sponge, I believe. Oh my, um, it's in the mod you make. Oh. Oh, okay, so, like I said, really bad, uh, um, you're not gonna see a crafting recipe for a while, so, yeah, Sponge is indeed craftable in this mod, but it's really, really early to, uh, review that, so, put it there, this does about 80 attack damage for, uh, Blaze and two Sponges, so I believe that, uh, it is well worth it, so, lastly, we have the Ender Dragon Sword, so, it does plus 100 attack damage, I believe it's crafted with Ender Dragon Eggs. Dragon Eggs and two nether stars, so you have to beat what three Minecraft bosses, two of the same, and one of the Ender Dragon, and then to get the egg. And what that does is that it allows you to create this. Let's change it back. The time to zero, because I don't want the sun setting on us. Don't we Leviathus? So, there you go. Put that there, don't need that. And what it does is that, oh, let's just spawn another iron golem in. I believe it will kill the iron golem in one blow because it is just so powerful. I'm mean, gonna get a pumpkin. Pumpkin, where are you? There you go. Just make a tea. There you go. It's an iron golem. So, one swing. It is dead. Literally, like, it's worth your while, but not too much. So,. Yeah, I think that's all. So, guys, I really hope you did enjoy this mod review and also a couple updates. I really want to thank all of you guys for 100 subscribers. Like, I know to some people that's an insignificant number, but to me that means a lot. It means that 100 people watch my videos, and that just is a lot if you compare real size, real life size. And also, channel hit 10,000 views about two weeks ago, or I think, I believe, last week. So really want to thank you for that as well me leviathus and uh aaron where's aaron He's somewhere around here so leviathus is my new horse bin figure he rides with me everywhere from now on around this castle map you'll be seeing me in a lot of mod reviews so be excited for my little horse so let's kill the pig okay so anyway i really want to thank you for 10,000 views because that means a lot to a lot of people watch my videos and also, the Minecraft Player Custom Mets has reached a significant number of views, I believe 4,000 at the moment, and I really want to thank you for that, because, um, that really is what actually made my channel grow a lot. So, anyways, guys, I really hope you did enjoy this mod review. Don't forget to leave a big fat like, or juicy like, depending on what you want to call it, if you found interesting. Even he, he, even he is excited. Look at him. Look at him. So, I want to end this off with a happy new year, but all you guys, let's welcome 2015 and make it hope a good year and whatnot, and also, if you did enjoy, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you, no, we will see you all in the next video.